against the classic Palutena Stash. Yeah, and Stash, you know, we talked about it last time. He did not want to have to worry about it. Uh, oh, hold on one second. Are you, are you going to get food? Oh, you did. Um, Okay. Uh, who's gonna be your right hand? Yeah. I mean, if you're gonna go to the middle, you're gonna get food. Okay. I was just. Yeah, that's fine. You might have to go to the middle. Who did it? This is just straight. Oh! Oh, how do you. And a shield break! Wow! So you're showing he just. He deserved to be here. Maybe he didn't make it last time. Uh, but... Okay, so I'm back. Uh, I did Sorry, not see... It was hard. It was, it was, it was <laughs> difficult. I, mean, I was like, man... It's... I haven't heard much from my co-commentator here. I'm sorry. So it was, I, was, I was distracted. How did this, <laughs> the, the, uh, I felt bad for talking over you. I'm the sorry. The shield get, get broken. The shield break was amazing. How, what happened? Um, what did he do? Honestly, did he I, I think it was... I think it was Orb, Dash, Check, and then Shield Break. Okay. So, already Toryu putting up quite the fight. And who knows if... Stash gets caught in shield too often, it may end up being a, a bigger problem. But Choryu is not giving any respect to anything Stash is doing right now. And Choryu, again, loving his own up smash. And wow, down air he Oh, good air dodge, though. Trying to get away from that up air. Yeah, Choryu absolutely is showing that he is uh, not intimidated by Stash at all. That's something that, again, being a reigning champ from last time, had a lot of issues, but he's really taking the fight to him. And I honestly think that uh, it's a good thing Troy is here. Oh, of course. And again, it's never fun if the same person wins. Again, rivalry. No, no fear of being shown from Troy. No. And I think that uh, it's fine. I'm fine with Stash winning as many times as he can. But uh, he just needs to make sure he can win. I, I want him to earn it. <laughs> he came out of loser side last time. This time he's coming out of uh, he's you know winners finals here. Uh, and I think I'm, I'm glad that somebody's here to challenge him. Because I think this is the first time that I've really seen Stash not be in the league. Oh, so far this tournament? Yeah. <laughs> You yeah, know, wow. he, he has definitely been uh, putting on a clinic this this go around. He did not want to be caught sleeping like he did last time. Man, and I think I think the range was hit stash. It may be, and you know, we haven't seen is I haven't seen as much confidence out of Choryu that I think he might just be comfortable playing against Stash just in general. Maybe he knows a little bit more about the Palutena matchup, but Choryu is very very confident. This is anything different than anything we've seen so far. And we have Sacred, my man, my one of my favorite co commentators. Uh, just talking about how you know Stash and Choryu, Stash has kind of run away with a lot of these games, and Choryu is uh, actually giving him a pretty good run with his money with his Sephiroth. Honestly, from what I know about Palutena and Sephiroth, from playing both of these characters and these players, I feel like in general Sephiroth just kind of has an edge over Palu just because of how far he can go. I feel like a lot of what how we can get on top is catching mistakes at the close range with her mayor up there. But, but okay. not quite bringing <laughs> it back. Choryu, again, Stash not wanting to be, you know, take it, just take it for granted here. And neither of these characters are really simple to take out. Sephiroth's not too heavy, but he's got outrageous limit power. Well, it's just it's good DI that we've been seeing from Choryu. He's Absolutely. been making sure he's been talking about Ooh, the Palutena wow. matchup and just exploded out of that sweet spot on that back air. Wow. And so this is the matchup that uh, Choryu's been talking about having some of lately, kind of working on that. Really? Okay. So this is a specific matchup. I oh, know. I thought that's what you said. No, he's he was explaining it earlier, uh, talking about you know different ways to SDI out of the nair trains and oh. how to get how to you know not get hit by a million different moves all at one time. Right. And what I was just telling with Nikki is, 
just from that first game, those first two stocks, and it may have been because of the shield break, but oh, there's a shield break on yeah, game one. But uh, Choryu seemed extremely confident going into through that entire game, and that right. was different from even what I've seen throughout the tournament. Him being on stream, right? There's a this is a very different Choryu. This is him on ten, from what, I'm, what I can tell. Oh yeah, both of these. Both of these players, um, this kind of, not this kind of the character at all, but both of these players some that sometimes can get in their own heads a lot of the time about things. So hopefully they can just both manage to keep it together, because these are both characters that can really bring that out in a player. Yeah. Very classic kind of rage characters here. Yeah, one big thing that, honestly, I, I, I if I had to put it, on a, on a chart, I would say that Palutena wins this matchup just because really? of the a, ability of offstage that she has to just harass oh, Sephiroth nice. like this. But then he can do then stuff can like that. that and right back, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> I, I believe on stage, I believe Sephiroth absolutely wins this matchup. Yes, I, I but definitely agree. As soon as it pushes off stage, Palutena, I believe, just harasses him almost too much. Yes, definitely. On the ground, it's all Sephiroth. In the air, it's all Palu. It's, kind of, it's all about whoever can get that first... Uh, Bit of a. Those first few hits. Yeah. Never get the first advantage. Kind of can run away with it. And again, something me and Street Design talked about when we were watching Stash last uh, last tournament mm. is this man knows how to push advantage states so hard. Right. Like what? He's, Stash's advantage as a player is outstanding. He's definitely one of the best in Georgia in the advantage state, mm -hmm. but. And with a character like Palutena, it, it's just got to be. And Street Design says he's possibly one of the best in the world in advantage state. Really? Yeah, he, and again, watching, you know, watching him come out of disadvantage, which you know he doesn't get put in very often. That's why I'm glad Choryu is able to kind of give him a little bit of a run for his money. But he uh, he has been struggling a little bit. But once he gets the ball rolling, man, he is like a bowling ball oh, coming yeah. out of anywhere. Oh wow, and that was a very nice counter attack. Again, Wing coming in. Yeah. Is such a huge mechanic for Sephiroth. It seems very tiny and very minor, but just giving Sephiroth that extra jump. Right now, and a little bit extra launch of power and damage. And a right? little bit of extra power and damage. It, it makes such a huge difference. Absolutely. And there was a lot of discussion when he first came out, even maybe still now. Oh my gosh. And he's got to be extremely careful because yep. not even Palutena back air can get through that one. Oh, and that's the stock. The Giga, Giga Flare. Easy. I can't believe that he. Oh, oh no! Oh, this might oh, no. <laughs> that was scary. Was that Definitely there. didn't want to be stashed in that situation. And up okay, tilt, okay, trying to kill like for some there. reason. Yeah, but you know what? That's up fine. Air, up tilt. That was that was Nair into tilt. Oh my god. Yeah. Because okay. Nair just does everything. It's, just, it's yeah. okay. As a link player, I can't complain too much, but you know, Nair just does it all. And again, we're right here, last stock situation. You know, Choryu wanted, right now, right? Chor yeah, Choryu wanted to kiss that bottom blast on just for the just for the sake of it. It's the safest place to be against Sephiroth. <laughs> the farthest away from the stage you can be in is the safest place to be. But you and there, like really crisp with the dash and the out smash. That was something Choryu was talking about earlier, really being one of his favorite moves for Sephiroth, is just back hit of up air with wing. Or up, it's, up it's, smash with wing. up smash is just a really, really powerful move. With its reach and just its raw knockback ability. And he's a little closer. Yeah, because of the Oh, yeah. Um, well, let me take it off. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but a big thing that we were worried about here for Stash is, I mean, he's at 140. Against Sephiroth, oh, yeah. like that right there. Just catching the get up with the forward tilt. Oh yeah, that'll always do it. And sure, you taking a pretty steady lead. I mean, it's not not one sided by any means, but yeah, both games been pretty close. But uh, that final hit has been uncontested both times. And definitely wanted to ban no no gentlemen's here. Yeah, we're this is winners finals, baby. We don't gentlemen here. Let's see, what are we banning? We think. I don't know what these characters really like too much. Probably, uh, well, I'm gonna say triplats. I, I see being very strong for Palutena. Yeah, for sure. For um, sure. I don't think. But it looks you know, like we're going battlefield. Going battlefield. You kept, you kept the triplat. But honestly, Sephiroth very likely likes those as well. Yeah. 
Well, he of course he can cover a lot with up smash. Yeah, up, he can cover the entire stage, air. all the platforms, basically yeah. the whole stage with one attack. I will say, well, he can, you know short hop between all the platforms and cover every one of them without exactly. The whole how, how much does he really have to complain about when it comes to trap Exactly. So, to your knowledge, does Alan really uh, benefit from? Yes. Yes. There you go. <laughs> yes. yes. So if you, my, if you look my, at this, there, there you no, go. no one can see it, but I pointed at our viewing <laughs> screen here, and yes, absolutely, she can benefit from trap Yeah. Uh, Eighty percent. Uh, as a matter of fact, <laughs> but again, I I, uh, I Sash, see this. Sash's game plan remains consistent, just going for the nair and up air strings. Well, and, it, and it's constant pressure and mm -hmm. trying to keep everybody on their back foot. Absolutely. And I, I think that especially just with the way Palutena works and the way she kind of has her reputation with the nairs, mm -hmm. almost it, it's almost more of a mental game of having to ride the train than anything. Right, it's one of those things where, oh, you get hit by Nair, when can it end, how can you get out? Yeah, it's a frustration factor that I think that sure. a lot of people don't really credit enough to Palutena of how big of a mind game that is. Absolutely, it's much more than just hit the A button and go for it. Yeah. And a little bit of rough DI on that one, but I'm not sure if there's a whole lot he could have done at 130. So. Yeah. Sephiroth, again, very light character, uh, not, not quite able to do too terribly much, but man oh man. Ooh, Stash wow. gets such a that was insane. Wow. Stash gets a lot of mileage off yeah. of those auto cancels off Pra the platform. Like a practically but raw up smash yeah. just in the middle of the stage. And Choryu again has been just on Stash's tail the whole time, knows exactly where he's going. And does and not here we are. We're definitely on the train now. He's not been getting juked out at all by these teleport mix up. Absolutely. Caught by the tail end of that nair. And able oh. to actually get out of it is... Oh, no stage oh. spike. That was a strange interaction between two of them. I'm not really sure what stash was going for so deep down. Oh, oh the wind wow. Box. And I've seen, I've seen Stash use that a time or two, but that's not usually one of like his main game plans. But it seemed like he was kind of ready for that one. Yeah. Oh, and oh, that, wow. seeing the orbs kind of giving him away a little that bit there. That was pretty nice. That was kind of funny. Yeah, I like <laughs> <laughs> The orbs, I, I've never seen the orbs teleport away like that. Mm. All right, here we go on and the just getting a really system. hard time with that one. Yeah. And it really seems like that the battlefield was the way to go. I'm... Curious if Chu's kind of uh, regretting not banning uh, Battlefield at this point. Yeah, I think maybe, I don't know, I didn't hear what he banned. Uh, maybe no, he neither. banned like Smashville and Town and City, it'd be the only things. And Stash somehow living the Giga Flare just a couple and hits at over 100%. Him catching the get up with a uh, forward tilt will always take it. That's something that uh, Stash needs to be getting caught by a lot. Just the forward tilt whenever he's on ledge. Yeah, well, and the biggest thing is too is. I think that Choryu's doing it at a good enough time to where he, he's not going to catch rolls probably unless you know he just gets hit by the weaker hitbox. Right. But I believe he's timing it to where he'll at least get hit from the he'll hit the jump or the neutral jump. Right. But the wow, the hit flame. I almost said sacred flame. <laughs> the flame getting uh, whatever it's called. Whatever her size. So, something is. flame. Uh, catching that that last one. Been checking on DSR. Yeah, I'm not one to take that one at all. Going in top eight right here, winners finals. I believe they are cleaning the floors outside. We're probably about to have to shut the doors here soon. Yeah, it's about that time. Yeah, nine o'clock. So we are absolutely excited to be here right now. Trap after and... after the mall is closed, I believe we're the only people who actually want to be here after the mall is closed. Probably the only people that want to be here. Anyway. In the mall. <laughs> <laughs> Just as a... But no, we, we love uh, being here in 2020. Absolutely. Um, uncensored, right? Well, it's formerly known as 2020, oh, formerly known as uncensored, currently oh, known, known as uncensored. Okay. <laughs> currently known as 20, uh, PCC unnamed venue, venue. <laughs> but uh, still same owner of Chris yeah, us COVID this. definitely but back to the match oh, and Stash going ahead and going to take that one very stop. early what was he like 60 80 something like that yeah very very quick stock and oh, that yeah. is uh yeah. some that I think Troy is going to have to think about that one. I, don't I don't know think he meant to go to the platform I was trying to fastball from there maybe 
Oh. And maybe trying to go and for a little for bit of again. footstool. He wants that down air again, wants the double spike. Ooh, and the dash attack goes right through Sephiroth's I'm, I'm surprised it didn't activate at least. Yeah, yeah, I figured it would do a little something. A, a, simple, a simple neutral beard too. Will do neutral. Wing. Little wing armor. Sephiroth's just standing there. Just, yeah, yeah, I'll take that. Yeah, and honestly, it, didn't, it did not work to choose benefit. He just took 3%. Yeah. <laughs> And this really that, one that sword cool. takes up so much space. It really does. A lot of Sephiroth's uh, maneuverability comes from that sword. A lot of his uh, benefit as a character is from how long, how obscenely long his sword is. Stash feels like he wants to take this one, I believe. I, yeah, I don't Stash think... is definitely going here. We're 2-1 right now. Yeah, 2 favorite Yes. yes. He's, uh, he's definitely not wanting to have any issues uh, bringing this back from losers again. Absolutely. He, he's wanting this one to come from winner's side. He's wanting it to be quick and easy, and he wants to go home with his second first place trophy. Oh, yeah, because he won the first one. Yeah. Is that right? He won our first revival tournament. We're hoping that... Uh, ooh. ooh! Not quite taking yeah. that one, but man, oh, man, you can, see the, you can see the red in his eyes, man. If G1 has any hope of taking this back, he's really got to put in the work from here on out. He's two stocks down at kill percent. And Stash wanted that counter read. I don't know if Palutena's counter would actually uh, hit Max I range. So. I do not believe so. At this point, I feel like Stash can kind of play a little comfortably, kind of throw stuff out. But it seems like he's still playing as safe as ever, except for right then. But, you know. Well, he was going for the down air. Going for that down air. Right. And that's going to be it. So at least he's not going to be running away with a three stock here. I believe that he Absolutely does have right. a, a decent chance of bringing this one back if he can just get, if he can Ooh. pull off a Sephiroth quick stop. Oh, I yeah. believe that would be the, probably the the best thing that he could do. You know, that's going to be lots and lots of setups that I don't know if Stash is willing to fall for right now. Absolutely. But well, that right there is going to be a pretty happen. good chance. Ooh, Ooh and menacing one to the. Dying. He thought about it. He, he thought really about did. it. That's he for really sure. Did. He really did. But that Palutena back air and her dash attack both with the shield are just so yeah. hard to look out for and so hard to really account for. Again, one of the big things that I saw that I was a little worried about was him, the side B, hitting the shield uh, during the dash attack yeah. and not taking the damage, I understand, but didn't even it activate. It didn't even activate at all? And that's, that's something I thought was interesting for sure because yeah, I've seen a, some crazy stuff happen. Yeah, that's definitely um, an interaction that you don't expect to really see. Yeah. Just the running into shield. Now, I, I imagine... I imagine that the flare, the Giga Flare, Zeta Flare would work, even if she dash attacked it. Maybe I don't know. Unless but it somehow traded and the initial explosion just went away. Yeah, I'm not sure. That's not an interaction I've ever seen. <laughs> it's been a long day. Yeah. Warrior wear is in fact not legal. <laughs> but we might get it. We might get it done tomorrow. But you, you've been on commentary all day for the whole tournament, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. I've uh, I've moved very little today, <laughs> so I, uh, I'm on these not very comfortable. Not super comfortable chairs. No, I did uh, cut the back of my leg on one of the arms earlier. So uh, these Minecraft chairs. They're they're very yeah. square and sharp. And uh, but hard, and <laughs> not very comfortable. <laughs> but it, uh, it has been a fun enough time for sure today. Absolutely, absolutely. Let's see, did you happen to catch the stage there? I'm not a clue. I was looking to see if uh, we were still stacked up on uh, concessions. Oh, we're going small battlefield. Small battlefield. Interesting so, call. I think that this is not a like a crazy. You know, crazy call for uh, Toryu because he, he doesn't want to have to worry about getting caught on the middle platform just to extend the Palutena trains that much more. Mm -hmm. But also, he doesn't want to go to PS2 where he, you know Stash might be a little more comfortable uh, with his measurements as far as where his combos are coming oh. from. But when you can do stuff like that, I it, it guess it doesn't really matter, matter too much. Are, yeah. And that's, that is just such a huge mountain for tour you have to climb all Absolutely. over again. And then having it happen back to back like that, I'm, one of the things I'm most concerned at this point with is his mental, but as we saw last game, he managed to keep it together really well. He can bring it back. That's Absolutely. not something that I'm worried about Absolutely. at all. Absolutely. Last game, he really showed that he does have the absolute potential to bring back a nearly two-stock deficit from last game. But right now, Stash is really running away with it. And again, 
Sephiroth can bring back some really quick stocks super easily, so Absolutely. I'm not worried about that. Certainly not. As being like one of the, you know, comeback factor being, you know, not a part of the question. Yeah. He's going to try and make him think about this Giga player and trying to throw an up smash out just to see if he can catch him being aggressive. Mm -hmm. Ooh, going for he, he's trying there, to yeah. get it. He's trying to get it. I, I, I don't think Stash has won that interaction a single time in, just yet. But yeah, I think you're right. I'll think it, uh, never quite still possible. On the, on the list there. Except for when he got wow, the, that was uh, up yeah. Except for when he got the uh, win box. That was down air or down smash. Mm, right, right. So I, I'm, I'm seeing Stash kind of or Troy, you trying to figure out how different ways to to get these ledge get ups and get these. Oh, not quite going to kill. Not quite going to kill from 160 yeah. across the stage. Yeah. <laughs> not, not that I would expect oh. too much out of it, but the flare. Ahead of himself, ran right into the ending hitbox of the flare. And now, once again, we've got a 3 1 situation here. Yeah, and this is, is this uh, the set match? Is that right? I, oh, no, getting oh man, taking 50 off of that reflection. one. Oh, it is. And Stash having to think about these three orbs Ooh. just in case he feels like losing a stock. Absolutely. I want to try and stick around through this winner's finals, but I might go take a break during uh, our loser's catch-up. Oh, yeah. Unfortunately, after this set, I've got to head out as well. Oh, okay. Yeah. Can't hold down the fort for you. And Stash, you know, getting you know, Troy's shield often cut small as well oh, yeah. on his own. Almost oh man, oh man, the this game is there. a really rough spot for Troy to try and be on right now, really and that's going to be it. it. Yeah. And that is game. our winner's finals. Yeah, game five, but on those last two games, 